Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Chris Burden. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Chris Burden. I studied minimalism. Sculpture, you're supposed to walk around. Sculpture is action. I figured out that the act of doing something in itself could be art. And that's how I got to do performances and call them art. Performance art, that doesn't make it art. It only makes a thing that silly people go to see. He would do things which would be like a slap in the face. He just walks into the buzzsaw and lets the feathers fly. We would make an art that couldn't be bought or sold and gain control of it. You wouldn't buy any art, would you? Why should I buy it? I can make it. I remember Chris feeling his hands trying to figure out where the nails could go through without it hurting. I'm not about death, and I didn't want to die, but I wanted to come close. What if art was violent? What if it was painful? This American is apple pie. He was indirectly radicalizing a whole group of us. We were constantly asking ourselves, what is art? What can art be? You never felt safe around the big wheel. There was not a sculpture you could imagine like little kids going up to in awe and wonder. I mean, I could see putting it in the Guggenheim and getting it to spin so fast that it explodes and destroys the museum. I think he was a brilliant guy. But, ooh. Here's a guy brought up in Switzerland with the highest level of education. When you met him, none of that appeared. We build this kind of uh, mystic story about Chris Burden. Chris has never been afraid to make something that manipulates and embraces spectacle. Every detail is perfect. It does push your head around a little. Otherwise, it's not very good art. I knew then, and I know now. He was going to shift art history. The crowd seems happy. Thank you very much, Mr. Burden. Thank you.